guys need to know why we yell. Sure. And we, we've been taking it fun and everything's been a joke and everything's been buddy buddy. But uh, you went first, so it's not going to be easy. We need to see exactly what's happening and we need to see exactly if people can think on their feet. We're going to be doing the same thing in Johannesburg and the same thing in Durban. Yeah. So you'll know what to expect in the next, in the next round and so will every other contestant. Uh, so you're saying that people are hunt for fun or for sport. You don't agree with that? No, I don't. It's not, it's not spoilers. Huh? Well, and at the end of the day, they don't have to know if... They don't have to know if we went off three and there was... And there's, we're running out of time. You know what I mean? It's... I think it's very exciting, man. To hear all the topics. Each one is interesting. Okay, next guy can come. Let me put it to you this way. If I was interviewing a salesperson or even a sales manager, I'd be for him. You know what I mean? Because I, 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 you know, I interview a lot. Perfect way of speaking, perfect, uh, perfect mannerism, the way he sits. No, I know. But did you notice when he came? He immediately, I like to check where they were. He went to the corner, he put his leg up and he sat like a man. He owned the questions. I mean, he, he had it. He interviews well. He interviews well. Can, can I carry on on this topic? Okay. So what you are saying is that if I am the CEO of my company, my employees should know what salary I'm putting. Similar to if a politician who is the CEO of our country, you would want his workers, which is obviously the people that elected him there, to know exactly what he's earning. Is that what you're saying? Yep. And I told them that when we had our when we had our welcoming, we're going to be judging you on how you choose to dress this weekend, if you know what I mean. Anyway. Okay, is that four or five done? Can you be a CEO of a company? Do you have the mentality to get there one day? Because that is what people pay me to do. A lot of money, just to speak to people and to sum them up. And this is, this is, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. It's exactly what I want to do. Okay, next guy. How old are you? 32. 32. What line do you work here? Sales. So, I fucking love whatever this guy just said now. Everything about this guy I just love. And again I say how wrong you can be judging people by their photos and by their tweets and everything else. This guy nailed and aced everything that we did here. I mean, you can see he's been trained. You know how I know it. Every question before he answers it, he laughs. Now that is a training, that doesn't come natural. A salesman does that. I promise you this guy can train. Every question that he takes, he, he, he laughs and to himself and he makes an eye contact and he moves. You know, you know the same motion, creating motion? He was doing that the whole time. He was creating that. You didn't take your eye off him once. I'm loving this, you know, it's, I'm just getting a different perception. I, I mean, I was at a club with a guy last night with dancing with him. I couldn't, I, he looked like he couldn't say two words. I didn't know him. I tried to do the conversation with him. Yeah, I was so making conversation with him, I didn't know the guy could speak. And he couldn't know. You know, he practically sold himself to the team. Clever guy. Very clever. You know, like he completely, you can see, study, clever, all of the above. Delete! Delete! No, he's looking at us. <laughs> 11 of these guys upstairs here were probably and honestly much more equipped than you. Well, I needed to put one of them on the spot immediately. I was losing it. Jamie yeah, looked at me and you two were standing at the corner. Listen, I did on purpose, I lost it. And and I'm just gonna go for it. You know, cut to the chase, fuck the questions, tell me why you are here. Don't tell me about Tell me why you are here and why you wanna win this competition. Pink Ray Bans, cowboy hat, didn't know what I was gonna be doing, thinking that, making thinking what the you know this competition is all about, and I entered too early. I know that. Sitting here today, you can look back and you can make fun about it and say, listen, <laughs> I don't blame the people for telling me, listen, you, you're out of your depth. They were honest with me. At 19 years old, you shouldn't ask. This guy's 27 though. 
I was expecting him to say I'm 20 or 19. I was about to tell him, I also entered when I was 20 or 19. <laughs> you are way too young. Yes, Is that why you were Googling all the Indian? You know what he was doing? From the way I learned, he was Googling questions and we he thought we would be asking him and it was just on India. Why the hell would we be asking you questions on India in South Africa? Another thing that you must remember, which was part of what I do, I get trained to see people online. Are you with me? So the guy rolled to my left and he moved his head, he's bullshitting. The guy looks straight, he's telling me the answer. If a guy is moving his eyes to the right, he's telling you selectively what he wants you to hear. Some of these books I read over and over and over. The book by Zig Ziglar, I read probably about 80 times already. And every time I read it, I learn something new. It's all about, it's about uh, being on top of the game.